Hey, let's do it. We're going to um, put together our first schematic and we're going to be laying out the board for that modulated oscillator. Okay, so we're going to have the power regulator set up and then we're going to put the IC and the surrounding parts. Um, I'll put the first couple parts in. You guys see how it works. Maybe you run the video on a little fast forward. Here we go. So we're going to go to File, New Project. Um, there we go. And we're going to give it a name. We'll call it um, Modulated Oscillator. And click Save. Now, Modulated Oscillator, here we go. Uh, here's our schematic layout. Sheet one, okay. Um, we could open our library and we go to workspace and we're going to go to uh, my favorites. All we'll find all our parts here. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, and don't, don't have it covering your page because you're going to want to click them and drag them on. All right, so I have the, the schematic in front of me, so I'm just going to be following that. So let's, um, Let's drag out, click once, and just move over here. We need the big chip. Drop that one. I know I need two potentiometers, so I'm going to click potentiometer. And I'm going to put one over about here. And I'll put one about here. And we're going to move these around later. But it makes sense if you can to put them in the right rec, you know, basic spot first. We're going to need a, an LED. So I'll put an LED up here. We're going to need a regulator. So we'll put the regulator up. I'm going to click regulator. And that's not a regular. There it is. And we're going to drop the regulator. Uh, we need a 4148 diode. So I'm going to click that one and I'm going to put him over here. I'm going to come down the line. We need the two of these connectors, two pins, one for our battery power and one for the like output of the sound, you know. So I'll put one up here and I'll put one down here. Uh, we need, let's see, three resistors. So I'm going to click resistor. Put one, two, and put one up here. And we need a capacitor here. And we're going to take, I had another capacitor, the ceramic one, little capacitor. We'll put that one over here as well. So that looks like two capacitors, three resistors, two potentiometers, two connectors. That's it so far. So that's good. I'll press escape to uh, break out of that library thing. Uh, at this point, I'm going to let's move this over. There we go. I can close that project menu by just doing that. And there we have our page and our parts. So, okay. Now notice when you hover, you can drag things around. If you click on the wording, let's say, you're going to move that specific word. So when you want to move a part, make sure you're hovering and everything turns red. Then you can move it. Okay. If you want to rotate a part, you connect, you make it red, and you hit R for rotate. So I'm going to rotate both these connectors. Uh, also notice that certain things like this potentiometer this this title is like a mile long so it's kind of a pain and it's overkill so let's take if you highlight the text and you come over to the side you can see the text is here so you can delete it and we can put something that's useful like maybe 100k because that's the value of the pot linear that's the type of pot we need 100k ohms linear now that's a much smaller title. It's not getting in our face. We'll do the same to this one here. So you can re retitle things here. Remember, uh, a purpose of a blueprint uh, schematic, just like a blueprint, is to be clear and as um, as clear as possible with the information you need to build it. So you know this is a this is a much better piece of info there. 100k linear. All right. This regulator, blah, 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 plus heat sink. Let's just call it what it is, 7805. That's the regulator. It's the 7805. Get rid of all this text. 
7805. Here we go. All right, so connector two pin header. We're going to go battery. Oh, that's great. You just double click it. Double click. That works. And we'll do output. Boom. Cool. Now, uh, let's get into building our circuit. So if you guys recall the regulator, we're going to go input. Notice how I'm lining them up. The wiring tools little box here, if you click this one with the dots on the end, you can hover over an end. You get a black dot. Click and click to connect. We're going to click the output to the resistor and the resistor is going to go to an LED. So I'm going to escape. I'm going to move the LED down so that way they're lined up back on the wire. Click, click, escape. This diode should be moved out of the way. I'm just going to change this to 4148. All right, so that goes there. Now, now notice the ground connection. Uh, the battery should connect to ground as well. And this LED has to go to ground. So what you, you want to do is you want to take this little ground net connector here and click it. And let's place one uh, right over here and escape. And then let's make sure that we wire uh, this to ground and this to ground. And then we'll wire this to ground as well. So now we see we have a network of these three things connected to ground. That's great. And the schematic, uh, the board layout, the next step, it'll know that anything that's connected to this ground should be connected. All right, so uh, that's good so far. Now we're going to arrange our parts around the chip. So just follow how I arrange these because I've, uh, I've done these before, and I think this is the right tight arrangement that will work well for us. So I'm going to move this over to here, um, about here. We're going to have a capacitor. I'm going to move this down to over here, underneath, just for now. Get these basically in the right position. Uh, zoom out, zoom in. How do we get this to fit better? F for fit? Wouldn't that be nice? No, it's not it. Uh, I'll just zoom way out and zoom back in over on the corner here. So that's like on shape style. All right, don't want a pencil tool. There we go. Back to our wires. Let's move this pot out of the way. If you recall, the capacitor connects to um, the capacitor connects to pin one to ground. So let's take a wire and connect it to the capacitor. Let's take another ground symbol and throw that over here. We need to connect that capacitor to ground. Oh, wire tool. There's got to be a keyboard shortcut for that. Boom, boom. Looking good. Now if I move this part, there, it lines the wires back up. It's kind of nice. Okay. Now we're going to move this uh, resistor out of the way for a sec because we've got our pot um, going from here, going from this line. Let's get our wire back. Is there a shortcut for this? Yeah, W. W for wire. All right, yeah, trust it. And I'm going to go from here to here. And then the pot connects to our resistor, W for wire. That's nice. And the resistor goes to pin 2. Bring this up. Pin 2. There. And remember, the final edge of the pot is not connected. There's a symbol here for that. It says no connect flag. So we're going to take the X and we're going to put the X right there. So the machine knows that it's not connected. Cool. Now what we want to do in, uh, in good practice for laying out a circuit board is any legs that are not connected that were not being used. So the, the gate on 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, we're going to connect them all together. And any gates that you're not using on a, on a logic chip, you want to ground, connect down to ground. So we're going to connect that right to pin 7 which is our ground pin, if you recall. We're going to take the ground, put the ground down here. 
W for wire. We're going to connect it. Now all those are connected to ground. And now all the other ones there are not using. So that would be 11, 10, 10 to 9, 9 to 8. We want to connect those to ground as well. And that keeps those uh, gates from activating and causing issues down the line in our circuit. So you always want to ground those. Now our output, output connections, we want to um, connect right to pin 2. Remember, pin 2 is our output, so W for wire. Okay. And we're going to connect it. From here, we'll use pin 2 as our output. And the other side of your output should be ground. So we're going to go here, come up, and we're going to click a corner and connect it to ground. So now our output, number two would be our signal, number one would be ground. All right, so let's connect a couple parts on our second oscillator here. Um, before we do that, if you recall, the power uh, getting to the chip Let's move this over. You need to power the chip, and that happens through pin 14. So let's take a wire, and let's connect pin 14 up to the output terminal here. So I'm going to come up and come over. I'm going to click up, and I'm going to connect to there. So now we've connected our output to pin 14, output of our 5-volt regulator. All right, so we've got... Pin 13 and 12 are uh, the final two parts here. So this is pin 13 is going to go to the, uh, let's go to the top of our potentiometer. So we're going to W for wire. Boink. And then the other end of the potentiometer goes up to mm, the diode across to here. The diode goes to this resistor, and the resistor is now going to be connected down to pin 1. And remember, this is going to modulate our, this oscillator over here is going to modulate the first oscillator over here. So that's connected. Got one final part. Got a capacitor. Okay, um, I want to shove it up here, but let's keep it lower and make keep things clear. W for wire. We're going to put um, the top end of our cap up to here, pin 13. The bottom end of the cap goes to ground. And I am going to move this over. I just want a little more space because I want to put this no connect symbol on the end of that potentiometer. All right, one more connection. We got pin 12. Pin 12 is going to uh, connect up to here. So we're going to connect, go up, and we're going to go to here. So that is our complete schematic. I do want to change a couple values so that way we uh, know what they are. 100k linear is correct. This capacitor should be a 1UF. So you can double click 1UF. Uh, this resistor should not be 14k. It should be 1k. So click it. 1k. This capacitor should be a 0 0.01. 0 0.01 UF. This is 100k. And this capacitor should be a 1k as well. 1k resistor. Output, it looks good. Ground here, ground capacitor, we want to double check. This is a, a IN4148 uh, diode. This this should be, let's do um, 1.5K for that. Got an LED battery, let's say nine battery 9V connection organized so 
That is looking good. There we go. All right. So that's the basic layout of our schematic. We need to file save. All right, save successfully, and that's awesome. So you created your first schematic of that modulated oscillator. It's look, it's way more clear than the schematic you guys had to follow in class. Isn't that awesome? All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to we're going to uh, turn that into a circuit board, but that's on your next video. So hope you had fun creating your schematic here. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.